Hello guys, welcome back to An Hour with Nature, and today we're going to be doing a different type of video. Instead of going plant shopping, I decided to repot my Philodendron Hastatum, also known as the Philodendron Silver Sword. So this plant was doing pretty well for the past two weeks, but then suddenly um, the newest leaves started to get a bit droopy. And I noticed a lot of fungus gnats like flying around this plant. I don't think you can see any. But I saw a few bugs in the soil, so that's why I'm going to be repotting this plant today. So on the when they shipped this plant to me, they had a lot of sphagnum moss at the top of the plant. So I just took that off to begin with. I also wanted to check on the roots. Look how tiny of a plant this has been. Then slowly it grew into this big thing. So I just took it out of the pot now. This stick has helped support the plant or else it's just gonna grow like this. That's cute. I couldn't find my gloves for this video. I knew I put them somewhere, I just can't find them. Just using my hands. Okay, now I have like got most of the dirt off of the roots. I don't want to disturb you too much, I'm going to leave some of the dirt on, but now I'm just going to wash the roots in some water. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I washed off the roots and I just saw this tiny new leaf coming in. Do you see that? That tiny nub? <laughs> My fingers have dirt all over them. But I just finished washing off the roots, so now we're going to get our sphagnum moss ready. That should be enough. Just gonna slightly dampen it. That's not enough. I think that's kind of good. Just gonna. Okay, that's good now. I'm just gonna take my sphagnum moss and lay some at the bottom. I'm just kind of creating like a dome shape with the sphagnum moss. I'm just gonna set the plant inside. I'm gonna spread the roots out a bit. I'm just gonna get some bit more, a bit more sphagnum moss. Oh, So this is the plant, newly repotted into lots of sphagnum moss, and now I'm going to go get my piece of wood so I can um, get this plant to climb. As you can see in the back, my piece of wood is now here, so I'm just going to move my propagation boxes where they go in the night time. I keep them here so they can get a lot of light. 
propagation box is about light. It just equals mush for the plants. So I've got my plant here and it's not like um, leaning on the wood as I hoped it would. So I was trying to tape her to the wood and she's kind of facing the wrong side. So I'm just going to take this bag of moss out again and do it one more time. I'm so sorry, Philodendron. Okay, so I repotted her again and I think it, this is kind of better now. She can lean on the wood without me kind of forcing her to, so that's good. Now I just have my tape here. I'm gonna take this long piece. It's a tape and I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut this piece in half again. I think that should work, or I'll just leave this whole piece. Just kind of stick this over here. So I just tape her to the side. I think that should be good. Hey guys, so I've got her up on the wood and I just taped her, the tape these two nodes down to the wood. So the aerial roots will start climbing onto the wood, hopefully. I did that with my Nikons over here. Just show you. She's still not climbing. It's been about a month, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong but hopefully my philodendron will know that it has something to climb. So this is a philodendron silver sword, and if you've seen the mature version, they're so pretty, they look like a sword. That's where they get their name from. So I'm hoping I can get my plant there with this piece of wood. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a comment down below on if you're gonna try this method. Bye, guys.